Hello, everyone. Just thought I'd give you an update of where I am on this game, which may or may not help you, but hopefully it does. So, I've currently gone for a completely... I'm going for a summoner build. And these are currently where my passives are for my Acolyte. These are where my Necromancer ones are, and I'm going to get this up to 10 points, I believe. There's nothing really else. That would be nice. But you'd have to put points into this one. If I look at my gear, for my helmet, on all of... I should go through my skills first. So if we look at my skills, I'm using skeletons, and here are the passives that I'm currently going with. I am going with skeleton archers. Here's my wraiths. These are very mana heavy. Skeleton mages. Golem. And then I'm using transplant so that I can traverse the world much quicker. It is actually really, really helpful. So now if I look at my gear, again, I'm no professional at this game. I came in knowing virtually nothing. Because I'm using Ra Summon Wraith quite a lot, mana is an issue. Uh, that's my personal opinion. That's what I'm experiencing. So on my helmet, I have mana, mana regen. Then importantly, I've got 76% increased critical minion critical strike, minion chance to bleed on hit. Don't know if that's any good. I'm using this again for increased mana regen. And these two combined give me enough mana regen that I never have to worry about summoning wraiths. This mana regen probably overkill in this instance, but this also had originally increased minion health. And fire resistance. This 31% increase minion damage, 3 minion spell and bow damage. This again up the top we've got 46% minion damage and down the bottom we've got 65. So on all my items I'm trying to stack minion health and minion damage. <clears throat> increase minion damage plus 5 potion slots. This, whilst not made for my class, still works quite well. I haven't found anything that's better for it. Obviously, this is for a druid. I made this ring whilst trying the stupid whatever it's called. can't remember the name of it. Don't care. But it's quite important where you merge a unique and a purple. Gloves, minion damage. Boots, minion damage, increased run speed, three minions teleported to you after use a traversal skill, traversal skill being transplant. And again, minion health, minion damage. So I'm actually probably in a really good spot here. You definitely want more health as well. I'm finding not just minion health, but your own health. I'm finding that I'm, you die, you die to a lot of one hits otherwise. So now that we've got that done, Let's go. Turn this up a little bit. Let us go do one of these. So right... Wow, look how many there are. Right now, I am in end of time. And I am doing the monoliths. So you, you always spawn here. You just port over to the monoliths. And then you've got to complete all of these monoliths over here. I've started working my way through them. They give you various rewards, none of which seem to be useful. Later on in the game, there's some that I need for my minion build. So let's go. Just summon my wraiths. Just teleport around, get some ice beetle bug boys. Let's keep going, let's keep going. Get the gold. Keep summoning wraiths every now and then, press one, because it gives my Minions hunger, boosting their attack speed. Let me turn this down so I can hear myself talk. There we go. Keep going. See, without 
all the health that I've got, additional health points, this was much tougher because I was constantly, oh, constantly low, getting one hit. And if you die in a monolith, you do not get these buffs, this bonus stability buff thingy. And in fact, you don't get the cache at the end either, so you do not want to die in this. waiting to pick up money for the game. Now, you see these ones that drop in the red? They are, they contain the word minion. So you press shift F and then you can apply some, some filters. Really simple, you guys will be fine. Otherwise, just look up a guide on how to do it. Let's keep going, let's keep going. Put some debuffs on me now. In monoliths, every now and then you'll come across a treasure chest that's just placed around haphazardly. Oh, there we go. So I pick up all the ones that are applicable to me. You saw a purple one there. Purple one is a... What sort of... What do they call that? Do they call that legendary in this game? I don't know. That, obviously not class applicable. Wow, look at that. <clears throat> that's really nice. Minion damage. Oh, see, that's nice. Minion damage, minion health, minion critical strike multiplier. Wow. Uh, that is really, really good. So I'll show you what we'll do with that later. Oh, another purple. Purples, you can either sell or you can shatter. We all we go get the oh, summoning. I don't know what I got there. A lot of mobs, a lot of mob density, which is great to see. A lot of ocean drops, which is fine. So I can afford to burn through them a bit. We're at 33 or 42, so we want to get that up to 42 or 42, so that we know we get the maximum bonus that we can. Because I've already finished this monolith, I can already get out of here, but I want to get all the potential drops that I can. You're picking up the glyphs on the way. Now these glyphs, they are for your armor. You can buff your armor. That thing just spawned a little mini boss. And they seem to drop a lot of glass specific loot, which is great. Maggie's down there. 39 of 42. Just keep going. See, with that traversal, this would be a lot slower. Hmm. So we're at 41 or 42. 42 or 42. Alright. I could continue on if I really want. Kill a few more mobs. Hopefully, get some more drops. Honestly, I think it's a waste of time, though. And once you're done, just get out of here. Open the portal. Or press T. Get out of here. We get this little thingamajiggy, get some experience. Then we get the cache over here. Now if you died, this would not be here. Okay, some axe. Two-handed axe. So let's have a look at this ring for a sec. So first of all, we're going to transfer items. So we're going to transfer all of these thingies. Okay, so this looks really nice. So if we compare it to our current one, we can see that we're going to gain 17% increased minion health. Lightning resist, increased fire damage, don't care. So we would lose 14% minion, we'd lose a crit multiplier. And the rest we don't really care about, right? So we, mm, it's kind of good, kind of bad. What we can do, right? Because so we can press F, and we can bring the ring over here. We, we do not want to shatter it. So let's just cook up this for now. 
So what we can do here is we can add more minion health. You can add a scroll in here. This one says Glyph of Hope. And this one modifies the outcome of a craft, granting it a 25% chance to have no forging potential costs. And we can see that this has 27% forging potential. So upgrading this would take away some of this forging potential. How much? I don't, know. don't care. I'll figure it out one day. What we can do though, we don't care for fire damage, right? We don't care. So we can select fire damage. We can change this glyph of hope to a glyph of chaos, which will change fire damage to something else randomly. Hopefully minion damage, right? Modifies, what's this one? Prevents, don't know. Don't know. Let's just do this one because we don't care for fire damage, right? Uh, we kind of got Stuckerberg there, but increases effective look. We don't care. We don't care. We don't care. See, and that was kind of a waste, wasn't it? But what are you going to do? So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to shatter this item. And what I'm going to get is I'm going to get these little Rooney boys for the 18% increased minion health. Elemental damage, resistance, so if I shatter that, we just added some stuff to my forge, which is here, crafting materials. Boom. Again, I'm no good at this game. I don't profess to be good at this game. I don't care. I just enjoy playing it. One day, maybe I'll watch 100 hours of guides on how to do things, but that's not what I do. Again, we got this one. So we would be losing that gen, which we cannot afford with this build at the moment. So what I'm going to do, if there was anything worthwhile taking from these, like this one, okay? Let's say we want to take that minion bow damage because that's actually quite nice. So we'll put it in here. We've selected our shadow room and then we're going to shadow. Okay, the rest of the stuff, I'm going to go over to this yes. chicka babe over here and then I'm going to sell all this stuff okay then we're gonna go over here my stash tab i'm just gonna put these in here don't know if i'll ever use them maybe maybe i'm not and then we're going to sort all right let us do another one so when you click on this it tells you Enemy modifiers have a 40% chance to apply mark of death, which I think increases your the damage taken by 25%. 5% increased items, item rarity, 10% increased XP, get an arena key, some timeline stability, up to 44 bonus timeline stability. Alright, here we go, here we go. Let's go boys. So really what's happening in this game is yellows. I'm getting lots of yellows, looking for minor upgrades and then improving them again using the affixes and suffixes via the forge, which you press F to bring up. F brings up forge. Oh, what? Oh, okay. So on the mini map. Oh, what? What? Mm -hmm. That looks nice. Let's try it. Okay. Suited. I cannot change my gear during a... Whatever this is called. Echo? Epoch? Echo Epoch? Let's keep going. Let's go faster. So I land, I summon, I summon my wraiths. Wraiths slowly deteriorate. They're up the top. Yeah, I can see now I've got five, now I've got six. I have set seven skeleton archers, four mages. Every now and then I'm pressing one, even if I don't need it, because it gives my minions a attack speed buff. Echo 
her conquered already, but again, we want to get this bonus stability so we get more. Oh, look at these. Red. Pick up all the red. Pick up all of these affixes. Because the reason why I picked them up is because I'm either going to need them or I'm going to shatter. You can see I've got three potions remaining. Press one, give me even though I don't need it. One is being a potion. That gives my minions hunger, which gives them uh, damage. What does it say? Increases attack and color speed. Oh, and gains grants health gained on hit. So again it increases their survivability. The devs actually thought about things. Constantly spamming R when I notice that there's six drops, sometimes without even the six dropping. Just pressing R so I know that they'll be up longer. So back here. So now we're down to five. Bang, 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 bang. R, 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 R. Level up. Keep going, keep going. Level 67. Don't know what the max level in this game is. Maybe 99. Leveling has significantly slowed down again. Again, I just hit E, go into them, and what's this one? Keep going, keep going. What are we at? We're at 44 or 45, so let's just call it there. Okay. We open our portal, go back. Again, where are we? We're in end of time. You spawn here, you teleport over here. When you enter the game, you spawn here. This. Oh, okay. Now we got an arena key. So another little, another little cool thing. So we pick up the arena key. Skeleton harvester. That's a really nice one there. Transfer our materials over. That's quite nice, isn't it? Cause, <laughs> but I, then I, I lose mana regen, but I'm okay on mana regen. 75% increase in mini and critical strike. That's pretty damn nice. Can I, and, hmm, mm, see that's a tough one. Huh? What else have we got? Mini and health. If I press F and I put this in here, again, we do not want shadow. I can attach my own... Oh, no. I can't attach anything. I don't want this. Rerolls the values. Removes a random... Adds a random... Rerolls all implications on this item. What does that even mean? Don't know. So it won't actually let me add anything to it. What are you going to do? If I add that, I get necrotic damage, minion damage. See, but this is a two-handed axe. So oh, shit. So I'm wondering, I think these guys scale from intellect, don't they? So, intelligence scaling. So they... And again, these. So this is actually amazing. So even though it, it's increasing intellect, that is increasing my minions. Because if we press S for, to bring up our skills, and then we go to, say, let's go to Skeleton Mage. We hold the Alt tab, 
and it says down the bottom left there, it says how they scale with, uh, with intellect. If we check these bad boys out. Ooh. But I wonder if I just click on this and I click on adds one. Let's just do that. Okay, so I can't forge uniques anyway, so there you go, bad. There you go, boys. Figured that out. So I'm just going to keep these over here in case it doesn't really work out. Okay, let's take this sash. Let's shatter it. Why do we, Why am I shattering it? Because I want to get that minion health shards. Shatter. Whatever. And again, I don't know if yes. it's worthwhile doing this, but I'm doing it anyway. I'm just going to sell these. Okay, so we've got an arena key. So what can I do with the arena key? If I right click on it, it tells me to go up to here and then we can do an arena. I'm not gonna do it for the time being cause, oh, I didn't even open the cache. Got some more items in here. So we've got a shield, which I can't use at the moment anyway. And I'm gonna shatter this one. Minion damage. So when I'm shattering, I'm taking the bottom of three, minion health, slow attackers, and necrotic resistance. And for those, let's just go over to this lady. Now when I go over to this lady as well, I'm often buying some shatter runes. Don't know if I'm wasting my money. Maybe I am. Maybe I should be saving it. Transfer materials. Let's go. Let's go one more. Because I want to try out this new weapon. We'll see if it's better or worse. Again, this one gives me some rarity increase. Enemies have an 18% chance to slow hit. That's going to be annoying. Let's go. Okay, here we go, here we go. Right off the bat, we've got a mini boss over here. I want to see what my numbers are doing. Numbers are looking better. Numbers are looking better already. Wow. Okay, so this weapon was a big upgrade for me. Big upgrade. God. So again, it's not about raw numbers. Uh, increasing my intellect has. Forget about it, mate. Forget about it. Stunning shrine. It, what's really annoying is I'm hovering over this icon, and it's and, and the, the text is in the bottom right-hand corner. Why? Why? Why isn't it popping up below? Just stupid. Bad design there. Uh, they're not a triple-A developer, so I'll give them that. They're a B-plus developer. Again, just traversaling, summoning my wraiths by spamming R. Looking on my mini map, we've got this little icon in the top right hand corner. So I'm just heading that way because I'm assuming that's where the prime evil dragon is. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Yep, there we go. There he is. Oh, I've just pressed one. That's damage boost for a second. Wow. Wow. This weapon has just completely changed. What the hell is this? So, because I'm not killing though, I don't think it's casting the same the harvest. Oh, no, I thought those little boys were harvesters. But you know what though, if I teleport in and get the kill, maybe I will get harvesters. Minions are killing too fast. I'm assuming it'll tell me if I if I get a harvest. Oh, yeah. Let's summon these again because I don't know if they are 
if I had to re-summon them before, before I'd scale. Let's keep, let's keep going. 42 of 52. Okay. Oh, there we go. There's a harvester. I got one. So I need to get the kill. Ah, that sucks. <laughs> what, is, what does the harvester do? Fifty-two or fifty-two now. So let's go back. We pick this thingy, this thing up. We've got some glyphs. Oh, glyphs are uh, these thingies. Now these ones are really important. Glyph of hope. So what is glyph of order? Modifies the outcome of a craft when upgrading an affix. Prevents the scroll of an affix within its range changing. fucking brain prevents the roll of an affix within its range changing that makes no sense to me um yeah i yeah i'm not gonna bother i'm gonna need some medicine okay now we will transfer our items again i know that i'm gonna stick with this for now so let's get rid of this bad boy because when i shatter him i'm gonna get some minion Spell and bow damage and health on kill. Let's shatter that. Shatter this one too. Here about all of that. And I'm just gonna sell all of these. Yes. So go over here, shop, sell, 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 sell. If I wanted to, buy some of them. I can search up here. Minion. What has she got? Anything of use? Absolutely not. Here's the forge, which you just press F to bring up anyway. So really what I need... I'm doing pretty good. I, I feel like I'm doing pretty good. Blessings? I think I get blessings once I've completed all of these, so... By stabilizing this timeline to, the, to this point, you will unlock a key moment in the timeline's history. Oh, nice. So I can actually do a quest now. Let's try this quest. Ooh. It's freaking cold. Should I need a jumper? Okay, let's go, let's go. Okay, again, we can see this little icon down here. Let's go, let's go. These guys hurt. They freaking hurt. Let's check them in there. Oh, oh, mini boss, mini boss. You see the little icon? Yeah. Oh, did not get hit by them. Press one. Let's get a bit more damage from our minions for a moment. Ooh. Something in my race. Pressing one, pressing one. If hits again. If I didn't have all of the extra health that I've picked up from my items, I'd be in a bit of trouble. Got a couple of harvesters going about. I can't see them. Where are they? Again, we've picked up some items. Many in damage. Hmm. Excuse me. Keep going. Hmm. Pick up some health potions uh, right as well. Oh, wrong button. Press Q accidentally. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. You can see on the mini map. Right. Give me some. Pick up all of the shards. Okay. You know, some you know, little harvesters. Keep pressing R. Oh, now that guy, he hurts when he swings his back 
around. Okay, we've got this. Now, I don't know what the two dots versus the one dot means. Could be to do with forge potential. Forge potential being how much we can modify, upgrade our gear. The affixes and suffixes. Okay, let's go get this. What's this say? 100% critical strike. Let's go. Let's go straight to the boss. Come on. Oh my god! See? One hits, one hits, one hits. Oh my gosh. Keep running, keep running, keep running, keep running, keep running. Okay. Nice. Is this the boss? Is that why I was getting one hit? Don't know. Return to the barricade. Looks like I got this one there. Defeat the Imperial Reinforcements, there we go, got that. Now, that's a critical sh Okay, so you can have more than one shrine at once, that's good. Okay, got a little harvester going. Just keep summoning. Traverse in, just to try to get some kills. Go conquered. Alright, so this is the first time I've done this. Use your portal to travel onwards. Let's go back. Let's see what I got. So, did that give me a shrine? Or had I just not opened it from the last time? Don't know. So, what did that give me? If I go here again. Okay. Okay. Because I'm at 500 stability. I don't have to do all the echoes. I see. I can just... I've got to get it to a certain point in stability. Then I can do these quests. And then... I can move on to the next echo. Because there's echoes that have a higher difficulty. They give me better rewards. And there's set items in particular echoes. So for an example... There's an echo I want to do called Blood, Fire, Frost or something. And it's got the chest piece that I really want. Yeah. Alright. That was a pretty pretty fun little video. Hopefully you can take something out of it. Is it worth a listen? Maybe, yes. maybe not. But hopefully you took something. Let's just press do this one more time. We press F to bring up our forge. We can shatter things. So I want to get that 33% increase in minion damage into some some of these uh, affixes. So I put that in there. Minion damage. Shatter. Boom. Put over this. It's quite nice. Minion movement speed. Minion health. Alright. 